Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1978 to listen to Say It's All Right, Joe by Genesis. Really excited for another one from this album. I know it's going to be great. It's Genesis, after all. I see this was written by Mike Rutherford, and it's been labeled a torch song about a drunk man, so I know it's going to be probably deep, emotional. They deliver that the best. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button, as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community, where it's all amazing music all the time. All right, here we go. Such a contrast, that section versus the soft beauty, the sad beauty we're getting through a lot of this song. Yet another one that sounds different from everything else, but still fits, you know, works of art. I've talked about that before. Each one is a unique work of art, including this one. Those soft strums, ah, ethereal. It happened twice, and they repeated that a few times in the song. Whenever it gets back to that, just music to my ears, heaven to my ears. Absolutely soul stirring, just the way they played it and recorded it. Two simple strums, incredible. Uh, we got some more soft vocals from Phil this time. I love that side of his voice. Uh, I even heard uh, touches of the 80s Phil voice that came out later in his solo career. It's interesting to see the blend the um, transition going on, you know, you can hear shades of the old and shades of the new. Really interesting. 
yeah, this one's definitely floating music, especially in those soft sections. I'll throw in an 80s reference here, Calgon, take me away. And that's exactly what this song is doing, transporting me, getting me into someone else's head. It's beautiful. Really enjoying the great bass lines by Mike. The bass went really high. I love that because it seems like it's not used much in music where they go to the highest register on the guitar when it comes to the bass. So really like that. Uh, great synth parts, of course, by Tony. This time they're more subtle and soft. A lot of this song is gentle, so that makes sense. And those change-ups that come in, you know, such an emotional punch, uh, so different, such a contrast from the soft section. It felt like something totally different taken out of the song, maybe a dream or a nightmare. I'm not sure, but a little chaotic. But again, I love the contrast there. Just such a hypnotic feeling going on here. I mean, that happens often, but definitely going on strong here. I feel like almost that I'm in the narrator's head feeling what he's feeling. Just very powerful presentation here. Uh, loneliness, I feel loneliness, but at the same time peaceful or maybe resigned is the better word. Just kind of laying back and letting things happen. Just incredible. So let's go back and finish it off. Wow, didn't expect that ending actually. Huh, didn't know how it was gonna end, but a whole different part of the song, a whole different feeling, a whole different section, almost like they gave up, the character gave up, but still beautiful. Music to my ears. It was a shower of synths and guitars, and I love that ending. Also some single bass notes coming in at the end to accompany that shower guitar synth. Really cool, really different song really interesting again felt like you know a case study inside a lonely man's head i was there with him i was feeling what he was feeling and for them to achieve that shows their excellence all right just checked out the lyrics now everything makes complete sense and everything i was thinking seems to be true uh, it's about a drunk man sitting lonely in a bar or somewhere uh, full of troubles and only the piano player to talk to he begs for a way out to live a different type of life. Uh, it discusses some kind of dream or hallucination he's experiencing, and that would explain the big change up with the music, the chaotic, the dark, I forgot to mention that dark synth line in that faster section by Tony. And again, just matching what's going on here lyrically. He implores Joe, who I'm assuming is the piano player, for some help and guidance, implying that this may be the last time he'll ever come into this place. Wow, what a poor soul. And I was right there with his experience. Just so unique, so sad, but so unbelievably beautiful classic Genesis in that way. I'm going to give it the Epic Platinum Record Award. Yes, for Say It's All Right, Joe, 1978 by the amazing Genesis. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about this great song or anything from this album or anything Genesis. Would love to know your opinions on this one. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time. 
in the past. 